Hello and welcome to stage three of the Singapore Grand Prix at Marina Bay Circuit. I am driving my Red Bull car. I have no tuning, no driver or principal level ups, just the base car. And we will see how long I can go without spending any currency. Now, this is exactly what I did a video based on starting back in the field and having to get through this quickly. So the best way to do this without a bunch of contact is on the outside. And you should really check out that video if you're not sure about breaking points and that. But here, it's really not difficult to get into eighth position here very quickly. Like there I am, I'm already in eighth place. So here what I was trying to do was brake check him a little bit because um, I wanted to create a gap for myself and not really working. So I'm gonna use a different technique. I'm gonna smack this guy and he'll hit the brakes. Now you gotta be careful when you're doing that because you can end up doing the pit maneuver on yourself. So I'm in ninth place right now. Wow, did I ever blow past that braking point? I'm surprised I didn't go off track. I want him to pass me. Okay, so now I'm trying to create a nice little pocket I can race in. So I want a gap in front of me and I want a gap behind me. And I might even extend that gap a little bit more on the bridge. I'm assuming this is a bridge. I'm seems like a bridge coming up right here. I'm curious what the bots will do. Let's just see here. Not trying to pass me. So there you go. Now I, I do have bots right on me, but I should be able to power out of this just fine and hit the wall a little bit. They're in a nice row. I'm extending my lead. Nothing to worry about in front of me. There I'll get a nice lead. So this is what I mean by having a nice, nice little pocket to race in where I just don't have to worry about someone stinking up behind me. Don't have to worry about anyone in front of me. Just kind of doing my own thing here. And I could even reel him in a little bit more. You don't want to win by a huge amount, but finishing an eighth is pretty decent. That should keep the bots decent as far as the bot management is concerned. Boy, they were slow. All right, letting him catch up a little bit. There we go. That's it for stage one. That one is in the bank. And let's see here for the next event. Um, it's probably going to be just, you know, get to this position, get to that position. See what we have to face here. Oh, yes. Get to position five. Okay, so this one, I left that failed banner there. This one gave me a bit of a challenge. Some of it is just kind of figuring out how you're going to drive the car when you've got to push it a bit more. Now, what I want to do, I'd, ideally, I'd like to get into fifth place before doing my drafting, but you can catch up to sixth place quickly enough, and it's a lot of drafting to do, so I decided I would do it off of the sixth place guy. Now, if you know Marina Bay, you know that it is 5,067 meters. So you might be looking at this saying, oh my goodness, I have to draft for an entire lap? No, you don't. They say you do. They say that it's 5,000 meters. It is not. That's not how the drafting counter works. The drafting counter is apparently permanently broken to our favor. You get credited 2.5 meters for every meter you travel. And if you've been around my videos before, you know what I'm going to say. It works out to one Roman cubit. That's right. Chariots. Roman cubit. The actual measurement is 17.48 inches, 44.444 centimeters. So, if you travel 17.48 inches, you will get credited one meter. And 17.48 pretty well works out exactly to a Roman cubit. They definitely didn't do that on purpose. Kind of some weird accident, I guess. And I don't think they can ever change it because it would ruin a huge amount of prior events. So this is just the way it is, but you'll see. Um, I've got, well, over a full lap to go. Now there is the fifth place car. So I'm in sixth place. I might have said that wrong earlier in the video, but I'm just gonna leave it. This is what I meant. I'm in sixth place, that's the fifth place car. Once I pass him, he's the sixth place car. I'm the fifth place car. Yeah, okay, okay, here we go. Now I'm, sh I'm saving this run, it's kind of sloppy a little bit, but I need to catch him very soon and get to my drafting in. Love to catch him here. Right, so you might be thinking, oh man, if you're not hooked up right now and stay hooked up the whole way, you'll never make it. I uh, just watch. Piles of drafting is already in. Way more than is reasonable, right? Oops, I dumped them. Didn't mean to do that. Really, really didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to stay hooked up here. So, there's no way I've driven 
Let's see here, right about there's two fifths of the track. No way. No way, not half the track neither. So my point is don't sweat it. It's not as daunting as it looks if you are unfamiliar with how drafting actually works in this game. So let's see here, I should be able to stay hooked up here. So you have to know that the bots break early and are into the gas late. So I'm anticipating that I'm gonna get all my drafting in here again Quite far, whoopsie! I blew my breaking point, man. Well, that's bad. And I'm too far away from him to get undercutting here. Ah, no worries. I should be able to set up an overtake here. There's a few corners here where I will be able to overtake him. But as you can see, I got all that drafting in way earlier than you'd expect for actual 5,000 meters of drafting at a 5,067 meter track. And there we go. All right, I'll pass him here. I'll break a little bit late and then block him. There we go, beautiful. Now I just have to not be a doofus and finish this race. Let's go, oops, I hit the wall, I better go. And we're going and we're going and, oh nuts, I should probably reel him back in a little bit. I'll throw it sideways, let him catch up a bit. There we go, okay. I don't wanna win with a huge lead because that could increase bot difficulty going forward, but that's not bad, okay. Get into second place. I have just a slightly damaged car, but I think it'll be okay. Take it out for a run here. I don't even think I had a whole point of damage, um, so I'm not too worried about it here. Let's see, especially when I have two full laps plus, I uh, will just say two and a quarter laps. Oops, that wasn't a very good job there, but I'm already in fourth place. And, well, we'll just see. I thought I saw third place up there. What I do there is I hit the curb and I just lift off the gas as I'm hitting the curb and get back on it. I'm talking about turn 23. No, turn 22. Uh, I'm full throttle 323. I found out with, with some other cars, I could stay full throttle through there, but it's, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, and I don't want to be restarting a whole bunch of stages for no reason, but during a time trial, you're really going to need to push it. Okay, I'm going to try an inside side overtake here and I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble seeing my braking markers. It was easier on the night track. So I really blew it and I'm pretty sure that damaged my car. But this braking point, very short on there. We're gonna let it play. I have to pass two cars and I'm pretty sure I should be able to set up an overtake in this section here, 10, 11, 12. Um, can I get under him? Nuts, I can't. And then, oh, well, there we go. Uh, not what I wanted to do. I don't want to damage the front of my car like that because that will make me slower. Um, front end damage hurts you really quickly. And so what happens is when you get front end damage, your top speed decreases, your acceleration decreases, your grip and your brakes decrease. It all gets a little bit worse. And in some cars, you don't really notice the grip, but in Formula One cars, man, I notice it because I, I have certain ways I drive the corners and suddenly, boom, car steps out. Like, even that's a bit of a surprise to me, but I haven't really honed this track per perfectly yet. Still working on it. Okay, only one more car to go and one more lap to do it in. Oh, there we go. This shouldn't be all that bad. I should be able to fly through this corner and if I can see the signs, on the right, I look for a quick one, two, break on three. So I'm breaking at the third distance marker, but it's really hard to see in the daylight track. Like it's just a flash. But if you get it right, like that's pretty good. And set up a nice little pass here. Oh yeah. A little bit of contact, but not much. I don't think that's much of an issue there. I mean, they're not gonna give you the lane. The bots are pretty good in this game, but I mean, it's, it's Marina Bay. It's a track with walls. You're gonna have to get a little bit aggressive. By the way, I'm really enjoying this track. Like, and a lot of people are comparing it to Monaco, and I, and I see why, because that's the last track we had to learn. And just so much different. It's so wide in a lot of sections. So many places you can set up overtakes. It's a really enjoyable track. Nice flow. Um, as you can see, and I'm still eating walls sometimes. You can see I'm still sometimes not breaking at the right time. But doing good. Doing good enough. So I'm definitely slowing down. I want to control him this time. And I don't want to have a very big lead because I don't have to. 
So I know they break, they break heavy for turn 22. And there we go. Nice and controlled. I reeled them in nicely. And based on the flow of this day, we will have to win the next race. So I'm definitely going to service my car. Fresh car so we can go. Oh, we have to win by more than a lead. Okay, 200 meters or 218 yards. Well, I'm a metric man, so I will be sticking to the meters. And it's going to be one full lap to do it in. There's Hamilton. So, a couple of ways you could do this. You could do the dirty way. Or just do the pit maneuver or smash him off into a corner. And that's fine. Just get it done if you want to get it done. I'm going to try to do this the clean way. So get a nice overtake somewhere around here. Uh, let's see here. I'll set up an inside pass. See if I can get my nose in here, he'll break. So I had to drive it in too deep. Uh, that's not how you should take that corner normally, but when I took over the lane, it forced him into the brakes. Um, boy, those Mercedes have amazing acceleration. Uh, actually, the best acceleration of the 2020 cars in this game. But this is still earlier stages, and I will definitely out-corner him. Uh, the Red Bull car and the Mercedes car are matched in grip but then the Mercedes has better acceleration and slightly better brakes. Red Bull has a little better top speed. So it's interesting how it kind of levels out. So here we have a lapped car. Well, I'm gonna have to do an inside, I think. Yep. And then, oh nuts, I really hit that wall. But Hamilton should get tanged up with, tangled up with that lapped car. Bots do not pass lap traffic very well. And then nice spot for overtaking him here. There we go. Once I was substantially in there, he nailed the brakes. Okay, now I'm gonna watch that distance counter and just monitor it. So he's braking, I'm gonna slow down a little bit then. And oh, well, but, oh boy, this is getting a little bit close. There we go. That is the end of stage three. And I still have not spent any currency on this car. Going good so far, liking the challenge. So if you liked this video, please press like, please subscribe. I'm throwing up some links here, including a playlist link where you can see stage one and two. If you're watching this later on, all the other stages are there. Thank you for joining me today.